Hi, my name is Jim Jacklin. I'm the Systems Sales Manager here at IPG Photonics Minneapolis Systems Division. I'm here today to introduce to you the Versa Small Tube Cutting System. The Versa Small Tube Cutting System is a high precision laser cutting tool that was designed to efficiently and repeatably cut small diameter tubing of various materials, typically for use in the medical device industry. The system is known for its ease of use, ease of integration, and is also known as a highly reliable production system. And today I'll show you a few of the key features on the Versa small tube cutting system. The system is used primarily in the medical device industry for cutting uh, stents and for hypotubes. Uh, first feature I really want to mention is the footprint of this system. It's a little over five feet wide and a little over two and a half feet deep. Very compact platform. Uh, all of the controls, PC, laser, are all located on board the platform, so and it's very portable and very compact, as I mentioned. Uh, the operator controls are conveniently located on the left side of the system. This is the working zone, so we have good access to the HMI and to the workpiece inside the work system. The safety features I'd like to talk about with this system start with door interlocks. All the, all the external access panels are interlocked typical laser safe condition. Uh, what's unique about our system is that when this system is actually processing a part, we have a lock on this door that actually physically locks it so that an operator can't inadvertently open the door and scrap a part that's in the middle of processing. We have a laser safety indicator here, which is standard in the industry, again, to indicate the status of the system, whether the beam is on or off or what the status is. Uh, laser safe viewing windows, again, common industry piece. The control system we use on the Versa system is our HMI 2200 uh, that's been tested for 20 plus years. Uh, we've got a, a unique uh, setup that we use for stent cutting and tube cutting with different features for that, those processes, from tube length to tube counters, part counters, uh, time to finish, cycle time, that, those types of, uh, of information that are valuable for these processes. Another feature of the Versa platform, it can seem like a small thing, but it's uh, important to a lot of customers, is the, the uh, foot, the casters that we use on this system. It's a combination caster and leveling foot. So what that allows for is fairly quickly and easily moving the system to a new location. And if it's been qualified in many cases, if it's been qualified in one location, because it's built with these features, it can be moved to another location without revalidation. Another feature of the Versa is uh, its international compatibility uh, from, a, from a power input perspective uh, and CE perspective. The system's ready to go internationally uh, to wherever, wherever we need to install it. The next feature I'd like to point out is the operator accessibility on this system. We have a, a compound door. The initial motion is a sliding to get to the work zone. This really provides access that most operators are going to need for, for part changeover, part removal, that type of thing. If there are larger maintenance activities that need to get done or other tube loading type of things, we can open the door up the rest of the way. Gives you full access to all the features on the system, all the uh, stage components and tube loading components. The system comes in two basic platforms, a two axis and a four axis. This happens to be a four axis system that we have here. Two axis system would obviously just be the linear and rotary here for the tube activity. Uh, we've got a 300 millimeter Aerotech stage uh, and a continuous rotary attached to that for performing your tube cutting functions. For the four-axis system, we add a Z-axis on the focus head and a cross-axis or Y-axis for doing off-axis cuts. The other feature I wanted to talk about on these systems are the optional rotary stages that we offer. We've used Aerotech exclusively on these systems. The Aerotech stages are very robust. We've used them for many years. Very few problems, if any. It's a very powerful X-axis stage. Uh, and we use this, both Aerotech stages and the Aerotech background motion control system. Uh, it, and it really allows us to handle a, a wide range of tube sizes for these systems. Uh, we can handle tube sizes up to 25 millimeters in diameter at the high end. And at the low end, we can be down as, as low as 10 thousandths right in that range, depending on which rotary we select. 
Uh, there are also options for different collet assemblies with these rotary stages. In some cases, if parts are longer than 300 millimeters in length, we can stop the cutting, re-grip the part accurately, and index to a new position and pick up the cutting, again, for, for tubes that are longer than 300 millimeters in length. The next feature I'd like to point out is the uh, onboard camera system. This is standard on all of our Versa systems. It's a camera looking through the focus lens at the part. It's really a setup tool on a system like this. This camera image shown on the HMI is a high magnification. It allows you to get set up for tube centering and maybe uh, picking up features on other, system, other parts as you go. Another feature I want to talk about on the system is the, late, the focusing head that we use. Uh, this is a combination of IPG design components as well as a laser mech fine curve cutting head. We've used this head for many years on these systems. Uh, it's an industry standard and it's worked very well for us. The laser options we have for this platform are, are varied. Obviously all the fiber laser options that, we, that IPG offers, rack mount, fiber delivered into the workstation, into the focus head. We've done a number of systems with ultra-fast lasers, free space lasers, and for those situations, we can mount an upper optics deck on here on the granite structure with, with free space optics into the focus head. Again, a very solid platform for any of the free space optic lasers that, uh, that we've integrated in the past. The uh, other piece of this system is the uh, cutting enclosure. This really was designed around wet cutting, but it also serves well for dry cutting as a way to uh, capture fumes uh, and particulates that come off of the cutting, cutting process. It's got an access door uh, with a part trace for, uh, for collecting and removing parts at the end of a batch. Another standard feature I want to talk about on the Versa is the granite structure and base that we use. Stent cutting is a high speed, high acceleration activity typically, so we've got a pretty, a pretty stout granite structure in this system. Uh, a base plate here, we've got a vertical wall on the back with the x-axis stage attached to that vertical wall. Primary focus here is for wet cutting systems. You don't want your linear motor stage on the bottom where it's likely to get wet and, and create some problems. So this is, uh, this is a, a feature that is really built around the uh, wet cutting applications. On the Versa system, one of the design features for accommodating wet cut applications is we call it the bathtub. This is a fully sealed stainless steel tub that the that the motion system is uh, is placed in. Uh, as with wet cutting systems, there's always the potential for leaks. So in this case, we want to we want to manage that. We've also got a float switch here. If things got really out of hand, that float switch would come up and trip off the uh, the water supply to the system. The other features I'd like to talk about on this system are the utilities primarily. It's uh, set up to 208 for 208 three phase on the input uh, power. It's got uh, connections for two uh, assist, cutting assist gases, one for oxygen, one for an inert gas of your choice. Uh, we also have an external exhaust connection. Typically we'd have an exhaust tube connected to the cutter box uh, and that's connected to an external flange that can be connected to a standalone Steam extraction system. The first thing that we would typically do is load a tube into the rotary and feed it through the bushing assembly. From there, we would go through and do nozzle to tube standoff and nozzle to tube centering to ensure that we're adequately positioned to do the cutting process. From there, we'd move to the control system We'd select the program that we plan to run. We would select gas parameters if need be, laser parameters if need be, verify all those. Uh, and from there, it's cycle start and let the system run.